Hey my crafty creatures. So in this video I wanted to show you some of the things that I've been making over the last two months for January and February. Now there are a few things that I did make videos on and when I did I'll just make sure I post them somewhere so that you can go to those if you would like to. Now there are some things that I did make that I didn't record or anything so I want to kind of go through all of those things that I made throughout the month and show you guys what I was working on. So I want you guys to kind of know not only the things that I did in this, but how I would change things. Now, some of the videos I made does have this information, so this will be a recap if you have already seen those. But if not, this will be just kind of like a roundup of the things I did and the things I would want to change about them. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the bodysuit that I made. And this was a self-drafted pattern that I made for my Cora cosplay. And what I did was took this fabric and I made like a mock-up of it. But I never did go around and finish it. Now I started this back in June and I just never got around to like actually finishing it off. And some of the things that I did to kind of finish it off was just add elastic in there and then add the snaps so that I could actually close it up. So pretty much everything else had already been completed. It was just that part that I never did um, actually finish. Okay, so the things that I would like to change about it was um, with closing it up, for some reason, I just didn't bother like changing the the leg hole. So the, the issue that I had with it was that the back side of it was too wide and then the front side was like slim enough to where it should be. But I felt like I really should have just gone through and just gone through the whole thing and just slimmed it down a little more. That way when I added the elastic and the snaps, they all aligned to, with each other. For some reason, I just decided that I, that was gonna be too much for me to do. So um, I ended up having issues with adding the snaps in there because one side was a lot wider and then the other side was a bit thinner. And I would say probably altogether, it was like an inch of difference and I really should have just gone in there, cut out what I needed to cut out. That way everything would come together a lot better. So the other thing that I would change on that is um, around the collar area, I made that part a little too small because I used my mannequin to draw out the pattern. And what I really should have done was just taking the, the neckline out maybe like half an inch, quarter of an inch. But um, doing that would have made it fit over my head a lot easier. Now I can still get it over my head, but it is a little bit of a tight squeeze. It like just fits on there. And if I go through that pattern and just make it a little bit bigger, I feel like that would make all the difference as far as getting it on and off. But aside from that, the top came out, came out really good and it was something that I would probably make again. I really like the, um, the fabric choices that I had. They're really lightweight, soft fabrics. So I don't feel like I'd get too hot. The only part that was like a little weird for me because I wore it for the first time uh, yesterday actually and it like around the neck area is a bit warmer than I thought it would be and that's mainly because I have that interfacing in there but after I was wearing it for a while it got a little more comfortable. Um, it was just that first few moments of wearing it that felt a little bit weird and a little bit like I have <laughs> too much around my neck but Aside from that, I think it, it should be fine. It's just making sure that the next time I make it, I want to add that uh, space in the neck and then slim down the leg holes. That way they are lining up per properly. Okay, so the next thing I made were the four pair of pants. Um, I used the same pattern form, but I did three different variations of them. And the pattern I used was Simplicity Pattern um, 2061. And that was the same one I also used for my Cora cosplay. Um, I just really like the way that those fit. And then the fabric that I used for that was really good as well. Um, I wanted to try a couple of different fabrics to make this one. Uh, one of them I already had in my stash. And then the other three I went to the store and actually bought specifically for this. So some of the things that I did with this. So for the first pattern or the first pair of pants I made, what I did was I went up two sizes and then just sewed it exactly how it was, thinking that that would actually fit me better. 
but it ended up being a lot baggier than I thought it would. So um, with the next pair, I wanted to slim down the waist and make sure that it fit on my hips um, because that was something that I did notice from the original pair that I had made for my Cora cosplay, that it was a little tight on the butt. So I wanted to add that space on those and then I um, shortened it a little bit. So when I did that, they came out nicely and the fabric that I used for it was like a really nice fabric and really like smooth and silky. Um, but the issue I had with that was that it was still a little too big. So when I did the next two um, using the same exact pattern as the Cora pants, just making sure that they had a longer version of it, um, those, because of the fabrics I used, they came out quite different from each other. So the first pair I made, they came out pretty good. The only thing I had an issue with was just, I wanted them to be a little bit longer than what I actually made them. So that was just something I need to pay a little more attention to because I cut down my pattern pieces, but really I should have just kept that length and then just hemmed from there. And that would have came out with a better pair of pants. Cause like, to me, those are the perfect like lounge pants and staying in the house and just like hanging out. Now with the last pair of pants that I made, this fabric that I had didn't have as much stretch as any of the other fabrics I, I use. Um, as far as the amount of stretch it had, it was similar to the very first pair I made. And with that, when I cut it to the length, it was actually a lot shorter than I thought it would be. And then with that inner seam, uh, the inseam, it ended up being a little more, a little like, a little distorted. That's what it was. It was a little distorted and it made it look a little bit funny but that was also something I noticed when um, putting all of these pairs together and like trying them all on. I noticed because of the way they made the pattern pieces, it made the waistband sit at like a weird angle. Cause the way you normally would wear a pair of pants, um, you want it a little lower in the front and then higher in the back. And because these were made with just like a straight across um, like waistband, it made it sit like slightly weird. So you get like a little more of a, like a triangular angle um, when you're wearing the pants like you would normally wear them. And it feels kind of weird trying to put them where both sides are level. So as far as what I would change on those things, it would be, I would make sure that I change the waistband so that it's lower in the front and then higher in the back. That way it can sit at how I naturally would want to wear them. And then I'd make sure that I add that length back down to the bottom. That way I can adjust whatever length for whatever fabric I'm using. That would make it a lot easier for me. Um, an another, thing, <laughs> another thing was that I really didn't need to change the size. Um, I could go with the smaller size. The, really the only thing I needed to do was add some more space on the back part of it and just give it some more space around the hip and butt area. So that um, it, like when I'm sitting down or standing up, it, it can stretch or it has enough space for when I sit down to actually like stretch out and not feel as tight. But that was definitely a learning experience and I enjoyed the whole process of trying to figure that out and just doing like the same pattern and trying out like different tweaks and see what difference that makes. Granted, if I would have used like the same type of fabric, I would have been able to learn more about that specific fabric, but um, it, it definitely taught me some things that I have to make sure I'm paying attention to what fabric I'm using and how the stretch of that fabric can make a big difference on what the final product looks like. Okay, so the next thing I made was a top and this was a top that I had made a while back um, just like kind of like out of a whim. I just like threw it together one morning in like maybe half an hour or something like that and it's like a really boxy shirt but I really wanted to have another version of it and I ended up using one of the same fabrics that I used for the pair of pants to make this one. So what I did for this top was I just traced it out. It's basically just three parts to it. 
you have the front, the back, and then you have a side panel. And it was very simple construction. Really, the only thing you were worrying about was the seams because I just left the edges surged and that was it. So I surged all the, of the edges and then just sewed it together and then the top was done. So it, it really did not need much else, which is one reason why I really liked it. So some things that I would change about it, honestly, as far as the pattern pieces that I made go, they came out just as I wanted them to. The only thing I would change for this is the fabric that I used. I would want to make sure that I would get something closer to that first shirt that I made. That way it drapes like the same way. Because of the fabric that I use, it ended up being a lot stiffer and then it didn't really fall on my body the way I wanted it to. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still really like this shirt and it fits me really comfortably and I would definitely like do more of them. I would just try to make sure that I got something a little more similar to the drape of that original fabric. Okay, so the next thing I did is kind of like a two-in-one because I used the exact same pattern for that and that was the McCall pattern uh, 6044. And I have used this pattern before. I've made a shirt for my husband and this is basically the same thing. I did um, do two different views. I can't off the top of my head remember which views I, I like kind of combined, but I did a short sleeve version of that because he typically just wears short sleeve shirts. Um, it's very rare that he wears long sleeve one and also I didn't really feel like trying to figure out the whole cuff thing. Um, I've done cuffs on another shirt and it just kind of, it didn't come out the way I wanted it to. So I just was like, I'm not gonna bother with it on this. And he doesn't really wear long sleeves. So I figured he would get better use out of a short sleeve one. So with this, I basically just followed the directions as is. I already had the size cut out, so he hadn't changed in the since the last time I had made that. So it was just basically just following the directions for that. Now, when it came to the second thing I made, which was um, basically like a collared shirt for my dog, um, what I did was I extended the length of the collar so that it would fit him around his neck a little looser um, than the size that I had cut out. So basically with, with the size dog that I have, he was basically the large size. And I just took out the collar pieces, which were basically two parts and then you do them double. One side it'll be interfaced and the other side won't. And I just basically sewed that together the same way you would do for the collar piece on the shirt except for I just closed up the bottom. Now, when it came to doing the closure on that, I ended up using eyelets and I used some ribbon or some trim to um, attach a clip on there. Now, the clip ended up working out well, but it made it a lot looser than I probably would have wanted for him. So that did end up not being exactly how I wanted it to be. Okay, so as far as things I would change on that, um, as far as the men's shirt, I don't think there's really anything that I would need to change on there. The only thing I kind of messed up on was the fact that when it came to doing the button placket, I forgot to like trim off the, the seam allowance or the extra pieces. So I did have some issues or that did cause some issues with doing the buttons, the button, or the, doing the buttonholes. So when I was doing the buttonholes, it would, one side would go, go in fine, and then the other side would end up being shorter than the other. So that when I tried to cut the buttonholes to put the buttons in, they weren't fitting. I did have to go back on at least three of them to kind of get them through the right length. That way I could actually put the buttons through but the way the final shirt came out was really good. You can't even notice like the, the issues that I had with it. So for the shirt collar for my dog, the main thing I wanna do is kind of switch that opening from the clip to maybe something more similar to um, a cuff link. So with a cuff link, you can actually just poke it through the hole and then it has like a little piece that you can just toggle out and then it holds it in place. And I figured that would be like a cool way to do it because then I could attach um, bow ties, ties to it, 
or even some like type of charm or, you know, some type of button or something like that to give them a cool look and make them look a little cuter. And I feel like that would be like a cool kind of twist on how to get that on him. And it could be interchangeable and I could switch it out by season or, you know, event or something like that so that he could have a bunch of different options. And it's something small and easy to store. So I figured I could have a little fun with that. But that's the main things I would only, those are the main things I would change with that. Since my husband pretty much the same size, it, it hasn't made much of a difference as far as the shirt goes. But that color, um, the sizing was um, actually pretty good. I did make a mistake while uh, sewing it together. I ended up sewing the normal medium collar to the dog collar and the dog collar to the shirt. So I did have to make adjustments there, which is why it ended up being a little bit smaller and I added the clip. But um, I was thinking about just doing the button, but I kind of like the fact that I did the eyelets. And then I just want to add that extra detail of being able to use the, the um, cufflinks. I don't know why I keep on forgetting it. I keep on wanting to call cuff, cuff clips. <laughs> but uh, the cuff links, I want to do that as the closure for it because I feel like it's, it's simple and then you can interchange it with other things as well. So the last thing I have is actually something I'm not completely finished with. This was me working on basically like a prototype for a shirt that I want to make. And with this shirt I want to make, it it basically is inspired by um, Cassie uh, Blogilates. Um, she has a brand, um, Popflex, which is like an active or act, active leisure uh, brand, a clothing brand or whatever. And I've been watching a lot of her videos and like how she designs things. And there was a couple of things that she was talking about that I want to incorporate into some of the things that I want to make. So for this specific shirt, she was talking about, um, like a curved hem that for a basic t-shirt. And I was like, I, I like that idea. And I feel like that would be a good look for a top that I want to make. And I want the top to be square neck. And I also wanted to have that curved hem. So I tried to do like a little prototype and I just did this like straight off of my mannequin because my mannequin is kind of to the shape of me. So I made my pattern pieces off of that. And then I decided to kind of do a mock-up of it. So when I did the mock-up, I ended up with some weird things. So aside from the placement of my straps, which were a little bit off, I did have to go in and um, make some more adjustments. So I had to bring out the side um, or the where the straps uh, kind of end at over some more because they were too far in and I felt like they gave a little too much side boob than what I would want to have for it. And then the shape of where the straps were actually lining up at, I felt like it just didn't give enough of a square neck look that I would want. And then um, as far as the hem of it, it just, it, it one for one, it sat up a little too high. But the other thing was that um, when I ironed everything out, um, the way the fabric kind of folded on the inside where I made that curve at, I feel like I need to like drop it down that way it can be eased in there more. I felt like it just kind of almost like a right angle and that needed to be more curved out. So I'm going to make those adjustments and then do another mock up and then hopefully that should be like the final pattern. But I wanted to show you kind of what I got like just to begin with. But I'm going to make those changes and then hopefully get something like really cute and really comfortable that I can wear for that. All right. I wanted to thank you guys for checking in and seeing my handmade highlights for January and February. I'm enjoying just kind of getting into projects without having to record things. And I want to take these videos to give you a moment of seeing of what I'm working on. And that way you kind of know the things that I'm doing even when I don't have a video out. 
So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.